So, ooh, I don't even know where to begin. So, when we first moved in, we realized something was wrong with the dishwasher because the dishwasher was throwing a code. And I didn't even realize it was throwing a code because like, the dishwasher's a little fancy, right? So, it was throwing a code right here. So I didn't even realize it was a code and then after a while like I Googled the make um, and model of the dishwasher and codes and um, realized what it meant. Something like water valve pinch or something. But Lamar, who you guys know is my husband, he came over and he fixed it. So ever since then, we had kind of noticed that in the morning, like I would be yelling at Sequina, like why, why are you leaving food in the sink? Like why, like clean your dish off, like what's that? So she was telling me she wasn't doing that, that basically the garbage disposal was kind of like spitting food back up. And then I noticed that the dishes in the dishwasher would never like really, really be, um, they would be clean, but they would never be dry, right? So we dealt with that and one day um, <clears throat> this week, I, oh, and then another thing is that our irrigation system. So the house came with the irrigation system and uh, it has sprinklers built in in the front and the back. And then on the side of the house, we have, we have like a little, a little box, I guess, where you can input um, the sprinkler system. So that stopped working. That basically, it looked like it, like the power was out. We would press all buttons, nothing would come on. So I walk outside one day and then I see this. And I'm like, Yo, this is a lot. Basically, like, we have a year warranty on the home. We have additional extended warranties, like um, you can always extend the warranty on your appliances, you can always extend them on your HVAC, like whatever. So um, for a year, we can kind of, you know, give DR Horton and their warranty group like an email or a call and say, hey, this is what's going on. So I sent them a very detailed email and um, the builder called me within an hour. So the builder that called me, we're very familiar with him. He was with us a lot when he was actually building the home. So we've worked with two builders, one during the process of the home up into the cabinets got up, and then when the cabinets got up, we had a whole different builder. And I know you guys hear baby heart. Anyway, the builder comes, he takes, he actually, what's really good about, hi, why are you yelling? Why, like, why are you yelling? The good thing about this neighborhood is that they're still building, so the builders are like around a lot. So while I'm at work, he actually calls me, he's in the front of the home, and he tells me what he thinks the situation is. I call the plumber, and I'm able to get the plumber out the very next day, and through hours and hours of discovery, of investigation, um, they knew that the that our our toilets were clogged. That that much they could tell us. And um, in the beginning, you know, he was just very nice. He was just like, you know, we found some um, baby wipes, which Harper, and some sanitary napkins. And I'm like, oh, okay. Later on in that, I guess after he had gone through everything we had ever flushed in this house, he felt very comfortable with me. He was like, ma'am, no tampons, ma'am, no tampons. But basically, whoever laid the pipes in the house laid them incorrectly. And I get, and it was a huge undertaking like into the street. Um, and they had to do so much repair, broke up our sidewalk. And I mean, like I said, it's just awesome having the builders here. I was just walking with Capri and the builder was just like outside just now taking pictures of the house. He said it's not gonna be fixed till next week. And so the, pl the plumber told me like it would have been $10,000 worth of repairs had we not been under warranty. So it's, it's like a toss up with the new construction, you know with every home resale or new construction you wanna get some type of warranty. Um, but, whew, like you just have to be prepared for any and everything. Hey cousin, so I'm out here in my straw hat celebrating Labor Day. But um, I wanted to just tell you guys a quick story since we're speaking about home repairs. So if you look at this picture right here, 
Okay, so let me just explain it for you. So as you see, the steps are not included in the fence. Therefore, in order for us to get to our actual backyard or for Capriya to go outside and play, you would essentially have to come down the steps into the driveway. And then to the left of the steps, there is an entrance. So they separated our backyard. So it just made no sense whatsoever. When we came to the home, which I'm probably sure you're surprised right now, this is how our whole fence and step situation was. It absolutely makes no sense, but um, yeah, they, they actually thought this was like the right thing to do. So they kind of didn't even fix it before we even seen it. Cause I guess they thought they were right. So of course, um, after conversations with our realtor, with Jamil and I, I was able to draw up a sketch and said that this needs to be fixed. So right now I'm just gonna give you guys a quick tour of the final fixed fence step hole situation okay and let me just rewind it so first of all there was just a whole bunch of confusing you guys remember over the deck situation so the deck then lead it to the steps it was just a lot with the outdoors going on but yeah let me show you guys let's go all right guys so just so they didn't have to do a lot of repairs, we, I just suggested that they bring the opening out so that way it could fit a baby. Hey! Hey! And a lawnmower. Hey. So, essentially, and the steps, you know, because the steps needed to be in. So, show you guys what it now looks like. So, we go in here. There's a dog. And this is kind of the backyard space. We don't know what we're gonna do with it yet. Just kind of waiting on our grass to grow. Um, then we have this under the deck area, which I'm gonna put mulch and stuff. And then there's a baby. And then there's your dog again. Then we go up the stairs. Say hi cousins. So Harper has her little water table and she's over here playing. Then I have some, a little grill situation. And then of course you guys have seen this before. It's a little table we have from the old house. So yeah, everything is fixed, you know, the second time around have a little view so this would be good for entertaining space we can put a fire pit out here probably in that corner and then yeah. still have a little celebration food all that good stuff up here all right cousins so i just wanted to show you guys you know the whole updated situation hope the picture and everything makes it make sense um harper you want to say hi to your cousins no they miss you come here let me try to get her for you guys. Hold on. Say hi. hi. Say hey, cousins. Mwah. 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 Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.